this post because it, it got 29,000 shares on it. 3,000 comments on it. That's my husband. His name is Corey Thomas. Right here. So, does everybody know I like to travel? I have a house in Miami. Right now I'm in LA. I have a house out in LA. I got houses in St. Louis. So I go back and forth. I got businesses in Miami, so I travel there, St. Louis. My husband is out here in L.A. at our place in L.A. So the other day, when this picture went viral, I woke up and I seen it on my timeline. And I'm like, hmm, my husband's picture is going viral. Let me call him. So I called him. I said, hey, babe. He's a barber, too. So I said, hey, babe. Your picture's going viral on social media. He was like, oh, I know. I seen it. We laughed about it. So if y'all can remember, I reposted that on my page the other day. And he was upset that I reposted my own husband on my Facebook. So he calls me. Why did you put that caption up there? Why can't you just comment and go on and all this and that? And I said, is my husband really calling me, checking me? Did you check the 28,000 other bitches that reposted this picture of you? You gotta be kidding me. You can't be calling me about no picture. You got to be out your mind. Okay. So we going back and forth. He gets upset. He hangs up on me. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Whatever. Texting him. I'm like, I'm not removing nothing. You my fucking husband. I'm not removing anything. So he's not responding. So we're going back and forth for the whole day about a post that went viral and your own wife reposted it. So we, he finally responds back and I said well you know if you want to act single on social media go ahead and be single this is a it's a very very pivotal part I said go ahead and be single so in our apartment he gathers all his stuff he said I'm gonna leave blah 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 we've been through this before whatever so we're going back and forth back and forth He's saying stuff, I'm saying stuff. So eventually, um, I said, well, just leave the key to the place. At this time, I'm in St. Louis. Because of course I got the businesses in St. Louis. And I was coming back out to LA after I got done with the businesses. Coming back out to LA. He says, when you gonna be back? I said, don't worry about it. I'll be there thinking nothing of it. Now, remind you, we went back and forth about this viral picture that went viral the other day. So, we fast forward. Next day, we're going back and forth, back and forth still. Some other stuff arose from that, personal stuff, his family. I'm not going to get in that because it's not my business. We're going back and forth about that. Fast forward to today. I get a plane ticket to come out here. Thousand dollars for this plane ticket. It was last minute. So I hop on the plane. He texts me a picture 
Now, remind you, I have a Mercedes Benz out here that he drives my Mercedes Benz. He sends me a picture of the keys in the apartment fob. He sends it to me. He left it in the back of the truck. So I text him, I said, don't send me those. You're just trying to trigger me, especially about what we just went through. Don't stop sending me shit. Don't send me nothing else. So all this stuff transpired. My kids get involved. We're all going back and forth. It was just a bunch of mess. So boom, I made it home. LA, I'm in LA. Go downstairs. I asked them at the front desk. I said, can you guys give me, because our the place where I stay is very secure, so you can't just go up to your apartment. I said, can I get a temporary key so I can make it up there? That's right. They give me a temporary key. Bam. I make it up here. Now, I haven't been here in over a month because I'm dealing with the businesses back in St. Louis. So I walk in, house a fucking mess, a mess. And I told him that we can get a housekeeper because we got housekeepers in St. Louis. I said, no, we don't need a housekeeper. Walk in, the house is a total mess. Floor ain't been mopped, kitchen is filthy, a mess. So I'm on the phone talking. I said, you know what, I'm gonna just clean up. I ain't gonna worry about it. So I'm cleaning up. I start from the kitchen. Wiping down the stove because the stove was filthy. Wiping down the counters, putting everything up. I noticed that he started taking stuff because he's upset. So he then took stuff with him. Bam, I look at the light over here beside, uh, on the side of the TV. He didn't cut the wires. I'm like, okay, so now he's being just petty. Okay, whatever. So I'm sweeping and I'm mopping. Then I'm going to the bedroom. I noticed that the bed didn't have no sheets on it, and we have multiple sheet sets. So I'm like, Corey, would, why would he put a sheet on this bed? I'm looking for the sheet. I said, I'm going to just get some more sheets out the drawer, because I don't even know where the sheet's at. That he took off the bed, and he didn't put the comforter. The comforter was on the floor. So I'm cleaning. I ain't worried about nothing. I go into the, the we have a walk-in closet. Go into the walk-in closet. He left all this trash in there. I'm trying to get all this stuff out because I'm a very clean person. So I'm trying to clean up all this stuff. Got that clean. Go in the bathroom. The, the bathroom and the bedroom. Go in there. Clean. Start cleaning that up. Finally got this clean. Go into the bedroom. Now, remind you, remember I said there were no sheets on the bed. But the comforter was on the floor. So I said, damn. We have a white, pure white comforter. Let me pick this comforter up off the floor and I'm about to grab some sheets out of this drawer. And lo and behold, when I pick the comforter up and put it on the bed, it was some panties that ain't mine by my feet. Now this is the same motherfucker who went off on me on social media because I posted my own husband on my social media. And I looked down and I said, I'll be damned. Now, remind you, remember, I said, I ain't been here in over a month because I've been handling the businesses in St. Louis. He's been out here. He has a business out here. And I see a bitch panties at my motherfucking bed. These are not mine. I don't even wear these size. These panties big as hell. And a woman know their panties. So, I text him. I said, your bitch left her panties at our house. It's a problem for me. He doesn't want to answer his phone. But you was the same one. You was the same one who called your own wife. Now, remind you, I'm legally married to this man. You called me to tell me why I'm reposting and putting our conversation, which the conversation 
went verbatim. And you guys tell me if I did something wrong. The conversation that I reposted with that picture said, and I'm going to give y'all his social media name too, so y'all can look him up. Since we want to go viral, this is what we doing. You never bring another bitch to where you lay your head at, you dumb motherfucker. You never do that. So, I said on the post that I reposted that went viral, and I'm saying this for a reason, that went viral. I said, this so funny. I wake up this morning, open up Facebook, and see this picture of my husband, which is the driver, Corey, is going viral. I call him at his barber shop, like, bad. why is your picture all over my Facebook going viral? And I put kissy faces. And you called me, you called me to tell me. Hang on, I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Since we going viral, let's go viral then. Let them know that you cheat on your wife. Hold on, y'all. Let me get to it. Hang on, I'm gonna have to because it's on this phone. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to let y'all hear how my husband talked to me. Now, again, this is him calling his wife to say why, why I reposted and put our conversation on there, which I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Rob is Rob Ruger. If y'all in St. Louis, y'all know who he is. So why would he screenshot that and send it to my husband? That's weird to me. That doesn't make sense. Now he's at his barbershop at this time. Well, I'm trying to figure out what is he going to tell my husband. So why do you send it to me? I sent it to you because I'm looking at it. And I know I know about the post. Again, I don't understand why you just sent me the screenshot. But then I read it. Okay. This Negro want to tell his own wife only thing I had to do was comment. Excuse me? So that's what you wanted to say to me, and that's what you was waiting to get out. No, I wasn't waiting to get out. I was, I was pulling it back up so I could read it. I wanted to read it verbatim. Is what I'm saying. So, so it, it ain't none of who ain't. You're telling me that ain't nobody's business? That's what I told you. I said, comment on something. You don't take that. See, 
I didn't get that from your post, from your page, I, I, or anything. I know you didn't. I know you didn't get it from my page. You gotta be kidding me. No, I, I know you didn't get it from my page. If my husband just call me and tell me this, Court, you gotta no, be kidding me. No, I mean, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like, dude, just leave social media alone. Man, who are you talking to? No, you, you, it's like, yeah, that, that's a conversation that me and you have. You know, you said social media you, alone. Yeah, you getting up for talking about yeah, you yeah, do all that. You know, and then you put it out. Okay, hell, so he, he, you just sitting there, it's like, it's like, dude, stay your social media alone. Have nothing to do with nothing. Damn, Corey. It's like, it's like you do this. I like, put it on my page you, for you to call me and tell me what to do on my page. It's crazy. I'm telling you, no, it, it's not crazy. I don't it's go to your page you and know, tell you what you're, to you're, do you're, on you're, yours. You're, uh, you're not, you're not gonna so. so, this the same Negro, my husband, the same Negro that fucking a whole nother bitch in our house. And you have the nerves, the nerves to call me because I posted. Get them bitches in line, not me. You have the nerves to come to your own wife who has been holding you down, ten toes down, because you're broke and you don't have anything. Your own wife. And tell me that I should leave social media alone all the while. You at our house fucking a bitch in our bed. You've got to be out of your mind. So since he wants to go viral, we're going to go viral. Just let the people know who you are. Be the real you. Exactly. I hold you down, ten toes down. Working my ass off for these four businesses. And you at our house fucking another bitch in our bed. I ain't never cheated on him. How dare you? Corey Thomas wants to play the victim. So now he's caught up and he's apparently got caught up by the bitch that he was fucking with. Apparently. And now he's deactivated his social media because his social media is Mr. MR underscore D underscore Thomas 52. His Facebook is Darnell Thomas. You want to be on social media? Fronting like you got it like that. You don't have it like that, bro. I'm holding you down. And the things I get is to find another bitch panties in my house. That's the things I get. We're going to let the world know who Corey Thomas is. We're going to let the world know that Corey ain't got no money. It's me. It's me. You keep playing. Your bank account says negative 11 cents, honey. How do you have time to fuck bitches in our house? And your bank account says negative 11 cents. How dare you, nigga? Your priorities are in the wrong place, honey. You're absolutely correct. Karma is a bitch. And I'm karma. Maybe if you focus on your bank account and stop needing your wife for everything, nigga, I send you thousands of dollars every month. Every month. And you focus on this bitch panties instead of this. You get he gets on Instagram making videos. Oh yeah, I got a house in Miami. I wish you would take that bitch down to Miami. To my house. I'll kill you and that bitch. But you ain't got nothing. You out here lying, manipulating, 
front and like you got it. Probably sending my bins on here. Yeah. My bins. LaDonna Smith Thomas. My bins. My Mercedes bins. My name on it. Yeah, he's a liar and he's a cheater. But he want to make me feel like I'm tripping. Because I go and post my husband on my Facebook. But I'm tripping. I ain't tripping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Since we want to go by, bro, he did better by never saying anything to me and putting them hoes in check. Lots of them bitches. Not me. I should have never known that. Who the fuck husband calls them to tell them about what you posted about your husband on your social media? You gotta be crazy out of your goddamn mind. You got to be crazy to think that that's okay. You some type of sick in your head. But I digress. Share this post so it can make it all the way back around to the bitches that he lying to. And that he won't, he ain't gonna stop lying to. He ain't got no money. Cause I just cut the nigga well off. He ain't got no place to take him. Cause he can't come back here. So you're going to continue to lie. Lie. And the crazy part is we, we had a good relationship. I thought we go on trips together. I, you know, I can't understand for the life of me. How do you fuck up a woman holding you down? How do you fuck that up? He say, hey, I need 5000 I need $10,000. I send him the money. But you taking the money that I send to you, and I'm out here making it to lots of these bitches. What for? By the way, he's 55 years old. He's 55. You would think, you would think that he would have been stopped all his fucking games. But he ain't. He gonna keep on playing. I'm filing my divorce papers. Never. Never. He gonna keep on playing. This bitch gonna think he had something. And it turns out he don't got nothing. <sighs> you ain't making that much money off being a barber. I'm holding you down. I got your back. And the best you can tell me is, why don't you just leave social media alone? Why don't you just leave the bitches alone? Again, priorities are in the wrong place. Again, you worried about social media. I digress though. Y'all share this video. Again, his social media is Corey Thomas. MR underscore D underscore Thomas 52 is his Instagram. His TikTok is Corey Thomas 755. Share it to him. Because he act like he's scared. You ain't that scared. You wasn't that nervous, nigga. You decided to bring him into my house while I wasn't here. But again, I digress. Yeah, I looked him up and shared this video to you.